Hey friends, Pastor Fiebercorn here with you for uh, another edition of Tuesdays with Marty. Today's devotion is for Tuesday, October the 10th. And uh, here's what Luther once had to say. He said things like this often, but um, this is uh, especially quotable. He says, God never yet gave to any person grace and everlasting life as a reward for their merit. Those who seek to earn the grace of God by their own efforts are trying to please God with their sins. So a couple things going on here uh, that are worth talking about, uh, reflecting on uh, these truths. Uh, each sentence has its own thing to convey. First, the fact that God never gave everlasting life from someone's merit. Uh, this is a truth that if you grew up Lutheran and were taught at all well by your pastors uh, or your parents, you should know well that we're not saved by our works, our merit. Um, God does not look out on our human performance and reward accordingly as if we've uh, competed in a race or something, we're getting a medal. Um, we are not going to get to heaven by how many times we went to church, by how many good deeds we did, uh, no matter how glorious those are. It's not that God doesn't celebrate when we live in his will. It's just that that's not how eternal life works. Um, his blood covers our sin and that's how we get to heaven. Um, if we don't like that idea, if we think, well, that makes me no different than the guy who's not doing much good, uh, Luther says this, those who seek to earn the grace of God by their own efforts are trying to please God with their sins. Now, this kind of comes from the prophet Isaiah, who also said all of our works are like filthy rags. You see, there's not a one of us that in any good work that we might do doesn't still have a sinful nature. There is no work that we could ever do, no matter how pure it might look on the surface, or no matter how innocent our heart may seem in the matter, that's not tainted by the reality that we're sinners, and that's perfectly holy, right, just, and good. That does not mean that the good works that we do aren't beneficial to our neighbor, or that we shouldn't do them. It's just that they don't count for anything before God, because they're, they're inherently sinful, because it's a sinner doing them. That's why you come back to the first sentence, we're not saved by those works, because uh, though they might look good in the world's eyes at the end of the day, they're a, a filthy rag um, that's only cleansed, made beautiful and right by the fact that we're cloaked in God's grace. And so, uh, again, good works are exalted and beneficial in the eyes of God only because he is the one working them in and through our heart. And these paradoxes here, these truths, are, are things that were confused in Luther's day. Um, and he spent basically his whole career trying to reiterate these concepts. Now, the payoff of this is when you're not trusting in your own works, which, again, are sinful, um, you can have every confidence in your salvation. Because it doesn't matter for anything when it comes to keeping the score before God. And that might sound like bad news, but actually it's good news. Because now you know. Uh, he's in charge from beginning to end for your salvation, has nothing to do with your performance. It's everything to do with the performance of Jesus Christ. You can trust in that in a way that you could never trust in any work you might do, no matter how pure it might seem. So as always, Luther's trying to give us confidence before the throne of our Father in heaven so that on Judgment Day we can stand tall and proud, not pointing to ourselves, but pointing to the Lamb Jesus Christ and the salvation he has won for us. All right. Well, that's Tuesdays with Marty for you. Uh, take care and uh, the Lord be with you.